The eyes to the right, 310. The nose to the left, 310. <laughs> Deadlock once again in Parliament. A vote on whether to hold more indicative votes on where to go with Brexit ended in a rare tie, so the Speaker said he was following protocol in voting against. It came as Jeremy Corbyn and his team held urgent talks with Prime Minister Theresa May. The leader of the Labour opposition went into the meeting with some in his own party, demanding he seek a referendum on any Brexit plan emerging. Prime Minister, will it be a Labour Brexit? The Prime Minister's move to consult Corbyn after effectively giving up trying to convince her own hardline Brexiteers to back her deal led junior minister Nigel Adams to quit his post on Wednesday. In his resignation letter, he accused Theresa May of, quote, trying to do a deal with a Marxist. But the Prime Minister suggested it was Parliament's failure to pass her withdrawal agreement that forced her into this position and insisted her strategy could work. But the purpose of meeting with the Leader of the Opposition today is indeed to look at those areas that we, can, we agree on. I think there are actually a number of areas that we agree on in relation to Brexit. I think we both want to deliver uh, leaving the EU with a deal. I think we both want, we both want to uh, protect jobs. I think we both want to ensure uh, that we end free movement. I think we both recognise the importance of the withdrawal agreement. But for Brussels, every day makes a no-deal Brexit a bit more likely. Speaking in the European Parliament with perhaps the last ever British MEPs present, the Commission President was unequivocal. 12th of April is the final date for possible approval. If the House of Commons does not adopt a stance before the date, no short-term extension will be possible. After the 12th of April, we run the risk of jeopardising the correct running of the European elections and the correct functioning of the European Union. Juncker warned there could be no transition period following a no-deal Brexit. The UK would immediately become what they call a third country, with all the restrictions that brings. There would indeed be customs checks for legal and political reasons. We have to be honest here, I prefer rigorous checks to a health crisis or illegal trafficking, even if it means a few truck queues. For now, Theresa May is still aiming to get a deal passed so Brexit can happen by the 22nd of May, avoiding European Parliament elections. With next week's summit in Brussels fast approaching, politicians here know they'll have to make compromises if they're to avoid a no-deal Brexit. But while the government's reluctant to seek a way out through fresh elections to this parliament, the UK could still end up taking part in next month's European elections. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, London.